Okay, the camera is off. You know what? I'm not even going to touch it. And the reason I'm not going to touch it is because I'm using this camera for my current Dark Souls run. And if I screw up the angle of the camera, it'll be screwed up for continuing with Dark Souls all week. So I'm not going to mess with that. I know it's a little off. It's fine. Um, and I certainly know that I look disheveled. Hello, everyone. DSP here. Welcome to the Weekend Preview. It is Sunday night, January 8th, 2017. And I am very congested right now. Um, coming down with yet another cold. And you know what? I talked about it on the pre-stream today. I'm going to very briefly address it in this video since there's people who are getting all kinds of misconceptions. Like, Phil, it seems like you were sick two, three times this past month. This is ridiculous. Do you have pneumonia? <clears throat> Do you have an immunodeficiency disorder? What is going on with you? Um, the bottom line is this. Here's the, the full explanation real quick before we get to the schedule. This past year... You know, a lot of stuff has been very financially tight for, for myself here with the business. I've talked about this publicly a lot. This past year, Leanna, my girlfriend, who lives with me, went and got a job to help contributing financially around here, okay? And she's had this job for a long time now. She actually started out in early 2016, and she worked one job for like four months. She hated that job, but ended up getting experience so that she could get a better job. And this job that she has right now, she has a lot of interaction with a variety of people on a daily basis. Therefore, sadly, when the Christmas season hit, a million people, <clears throat> excuse me, who she's having interactions with on a daily basis, uh, she keeps getting sick. And she got sick in early December, got over it, got sick again in mid-December, got over it, and then just this past week comes home, completely congested again. I said, I, uh, it's killing me because, you know, I work from home and I get, I'm, I'm home all the time. The only real interaction I have with people is either with Leanna or a couple times a week if we happen to go out, you know, one time, day a week we go out and we do our errands and go out to dinner or whatever. And then maybe another day a week we go out and we may get, you know, a snack or something, you know, not a lot of me leaving the house because I'm here every day live streaming and doing videos and everything for you. That's my job. <clears throat> so what ends up happening is, you know, she gets a cold, comes home, and now I'm with her the rest of the day. Of course I'm going to get sick. You know what I mean? Um, in fact, it's interesting. The first time she got sick, I didn't get sick. Apparently, whatever cold she had in early December, I had already had because I didn't get sick from it at all. It wasn't until she got her second cold that it ended up affecting me. Now, for her, you know, she's younger, probably a better boosted immune system. She gets over the cold in a few days. Me... It's lingering and lingering and lingering. And then I just about, I was just about to get over that last cold, right? I remember <clears throat> my voice was hoarse every day, but finally I wasn't choking anymore and I was sounding a little better. And then boom, all of a sudden hits me on Friday night, deadly sore throat, really bad. Felt like someone was stabbing my throat every time I tried to swallow or talk. And it was like that yesterday. I was super sick yesterday. Couldn't live stream. And I know people were disappointed because... This week I started my Dark Souls The Redemption Run playthrough where I went back to Dark Souls and I'm trying to legitimately play through the game without cheating, without people telling me how to do everything, without summoning and having people holding my hand. You know, I'm trying to use the foreknowledge that I have of the Dark Souls franchise now that I've played Dark Souls 2, 3, Bloodborne to go back to the original and beat it legitimately, okay? And it's been a lot of fun. I've streamed it twice now and man... Let me tell you, stream attendance has been very high, stream engagement very high, people chatting it up, having fun, cheering, you know, subbing on YouTube, the videos seem to have been doing pretty good. So I have no complaints, so far so good, people seem to really like this second uh, full run through, uh, the first legitimate run through I've ever done of Dark Souls, alright? But I got sick, so I couldn't stream again on Saturday, and then I did stream again today, but I was incredibly congested. Right now, I'm incredibly congested. Like, my nose feels like it's going to explode. My head is pounding. <clears throat> so I'm actually forcing myself through that to film this week in preview to get out there, okay? Because um, there's a lot of important stuff I need to talk about this particular week. There's going to be some fun stuff coming up this week, so I hope that you are ready for it. Here we go. First of all, if you were a patron of mine in December, I pointed the wrong direction, over there at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. If you pledged in December, I have now messaged all of the December patrons on the website. So if you need to get a forum upgrade because you want to nominate games for the upcoming Twitch and Chill Marathon, which by the way is going to happen on January 22nd, it's a Sunday, two weeks from today, um, <clears throat> January 22nd. Uh, you know, seven hour marathon where it's me interacting with the stream chat and doing gameplay that really isn't for YouTube playthroughs, but more for interaction with stream chat. Um, I, need, I, I want those patrons 
<clears throat> to nominate games for this marathon. If uh, you're going to ask questions for this one's episode of Ask the King, which right now it's tentatively set for the 26th, but being that Resident Evil 7 Mania might be going on, then I might delay it a few days, we'll see, but it is happening this month. If you want to get that question posted right away, okay, or maybe I owe you a private Q&A video, you know, anything like that, I've now messaged you on Patreon.com, so please read your PMs and message me back with the appropriate information. I'll collect all that information this week, and by the end of this week, I'll have <clears throat> everything submitted so that people can nominate games and, and, and uh, you know, submit their questions for, you know, about one week's time before all that stuff happens, all right? Sounds good? Now, just to clarify, because I know there's confusion, if you're a patron of mine for January, meaning you pledged past January 1st, from the 2nd to now, th that is for next month, so that's for this month, January, all right? What are you pledging for? You're pledging, and I, I apologize, I still haven't had a chance to make this freaking... Uh, piece of, of, you know, flyer for it to put on my, my videos here. The return of the Patron's Choice playthrough. So if you pledge $5 or more this month to my Patreon, all right, the end of this month, I'm going to contact you and you're going to be able to nominate and vote on a game that I'm going to do a full playthrough of starting in mid to late February. And it'll go, you know, as, as long as it takes to finish it. I know there's a lot of new releases in March and April, <clears throat> but I will finish the game, okay? Now, previous games included... You know, Persona games, like Persona 4, which was one of my favorite playthroughs of all time. Uh, checking out Minecraft, right? A game that I never would have played, honestly. Uh, Yakuza 4 was one of them, which then led to a Yakuza 5 playthrough in the future that was really good. So, honestly, the, the Patreon's Choice playthroughs have been some of the best ones I've ever done for YouTube, in my opinion. Games that normally I probably wouldn't have played if it wasn't for the Patreon suggestions. So, if you want to be part of that, you got to pledge 5 bucks or more by the end of this month. But understand, because some people pledge, oh, Phil, you didn't contact me yet. Well, you pledged for January. I don't get to action any of those until next month. That's how it works. You pledge now, and then after the recurring patrons on the first of the next month get charged, then I get all that information from Patreon, and then I can message you in early February to get your perks going, okay? Hopefully that clarified the situation for everybody. All right, <clears throat> now let's talk about the schedule. First of all, this week... I am beginning my next year-end series, which is the funniest moments, but not just the funniest, it's the fan-voted funniest moments of 2016. On my forums right now on thekingofhate.com, for over a week, I've had two polls open by which you can vote on the funniest moments that have happened in the past year. Now, these were all nominated by people who watch my videos and posted up these funny moments on the forums, okay? And people have been voting. I need you to vote right now because guess what? That poll is closing tomorrow, Monday, January 9th. That poll will be closed about midday. So it's your last chance to vote. There's 22 funny moments. You're going to get a chuckle out of them. Even if you're like, oh man, I don't really care about voting. Go check it out anyway. You're going to get a chuckle out of these 22 moments. And, you know, your voting helps me to get this series together, okay? So that's going to be tomorrow. I'll close that thread. And then starting tomorrow night, I'm actually going to begin work on that series. Now, I'm not promising that a video of that out is going to be out Monday night because typically what happens is I need to get all the video footage together for it, uh, music, templates, all that, start the editing, do especially the voiceovers, right? And listen to me, I'm so congested right now. I'll really have to force myself through voiceovers, especially if I'm still this congested tomorrow. So anyway, I'm going to begin work tomorrow night on that. I'm hoping to start releasing those episodes Tuesday because I think it's going to be maybe a three-parter. So it could be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Each night I release a new part for uh, over on KO Gaming. YouTube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. If you haven't seen it le yet, last week I released my entire top 20 most disappointing games of 2016 countdown. It's live over there. People love it. The views are good. People, you know, like the hell out of it, commenting like crazy. Tons of engagement. I got tons, hundreds of new subs from it. People are really loving that series, so I'm really excited to keep these year-end series going and keep interest over on KO Gaming. Please head over there and check it out if you haven't, and subscribe because the funniest moments are coming this week, okay? So that's what you can expect edited video-wise from me this week. Now, there's also a chance that the next Loot Crate is coming. I'm, I'm expecting the Marvel Gear and Goods Loot Crate to be coming anytime in the next week or two. Whenever it arrives, I'll be doing an unboxing, and that's going to be right here on the King of Hay Vlogs, all right? So a new vlog coming up in unboxing whenever this next Loot Crate arrives. Awesome. Um, Gameplay-wise, what can you expect? Well, 
Right now, I'm in the middle of two things. The big priority thing for me right now that everyone's excited for is the Dark Souls Redemption Run playthrough. You know, me going back to Dark Souls, doing it legit, not having my hand held, not summoning. It's really fun so far. I've done two sessions. I've died a million times. I didn't cheat to get the Drake Sword this time like I did in my first run. And therefore, it's been a hell of a lot more challenging. But at the same time, I now understand the upgrade system. I understand the combat system better. So it's funny because those things are actually going better, yet some other things are going worse. It's hilarious. So it's been a great run so far. That's going to primarily be my focus all week. Almost every day this week, you're going to see Dark Souls on stream. Now, here's what I want to do. I also am doing a Zelda Ocarina of Time playthrough, all right? What I'd like to do is maybe do, say, two more days of Dark Souls, and then, you know, give it a rest for a day. That way I'm not super overloaded on Dark Souls, and for variety's sake, I can pick up my 3DS over here, I can go back to Zelda for a session, and that way the Zelda fans aren't super pissed that I'm leaving it undone. And then maybe what I'm going to do is, for the next couple of weeks, alternate. I'll probably do maybe two days of Dark Souls and a day of Zelda or something like that, all right? And we'll see how it goes. Now, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to finish one or either of these games before we come to the new releases this month, which are Resident Evil 7 and Yakuza 0. If not, it's not a big deal. Because guess what? They're both old games. They're both playthroughs that could easily be continued in the future, right? It's not like I'm, I'm so desperate to rush and finish these because they're new games and I have to finish them before the new releases come. This is filler content. So I'm pleased that I can, you know, take my time right now, work on year-end series, balance that with these streams, and then, you know, if it doesn't finish, no big deal. I can finish it at any time. I can even put it on a hiatus for February, March, April, and then, you know, come the summer when there's nothing going on because it's always fucking dead, I can come back to them. That's the cool thing about this. I'm not in any massive rush to finish up what I'm working on right now, which is good. <clears throat> so, gameplay-wise... Every day around noon Pacific time, you're going to see Dark Souls on stream. After a couple of days, I'll probably mix it up and go back to Zelda. If you want the exact schedule every day, you got to follow me over here on Twitter at they call me DSP. That is your definitive source to find out every single day what exactly will be happening. All right. Now, in addition to all of that, I did a gaming schedule update video this week right here on the King of Hate vlog. So if you missed it, check it out. It's over here. It's got around 4,000 views, I think. I haven't checked it in a few days. Um, but it explains all the major games I'm interested in covering in the next several months. So if you're one, geez, full interested in this game or that game, check it out. <laughs> it basically covers from now through April. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I know there's a few other games that actually, I believe Injustice 2 just got a release date for sometime in mid-May. That wasn't on there because that just got announced, but it's pretty cumulative for the first quarter to third of the year. What you can expect me to be playing and, uh, check it out. All right. Now. Outside of all of that stuff, obviously, the thing that's going on with me now is my health. I hope that I can, you know, stay healthy and or clear this out and I can keep going because ultimately what I want to do is next week, I want to finish up my year-end series with my Game of the Year awards, okay? Then as I already told you, on the 22nd, it's going to be my Twitch and Chill Marathon. Resident Evil 7 premieres on that Tuesday. I want to do a midnight launch stream if I can for it because I'm that hyped for Resident Evil 7. And I want, really want to get, you know, heavy into coverage of that. And, you know, people are asking for Yakuza 0. There's a bunch of new releases coming out in February. I need to kind of, <coughs> excuse me, get into a healthy shape. I, please, hope this has got to be the last cold that I catch at this point. I mean, and, you know, I talked to Leanna about getting more sleep and trying to take care of herself better. Because now three colds in a month, you know, it's enough is enough. And I caught two of them now. And I can't, you know, I got to really buckle down and focus on getting better. So... Everyone, fingers and arms and everything crossed that everything works out, all right? Um, outside of all of that, the only other thing is that you, Ask the King is also going to take place this month. I haven't done a Q&A show in two months. The last time I did one was Thanksgiving. Um, that's going to be later this month. I tentatively said it for January 26th, but being now that that's only two days after the launch of Resident Evil 7, what I may do is delay it a little bit. Maybe I'll do it like the last day of the month or something, just so that there's more time to focus on Resident Evil 7 and, uh, you know, maybe Yakuza. People are going to want to see me play the new releases over Ask the King, but don't worry. I am still doing Ask the King. You can still post up your questions on the forums right now for it. So please go do so if you haven't yet. Okay. That's it, everyone. Thanks for watching the Weekend Preview. Thank you for being patient with me because I am so congested. Hopefully this clears up within a couple of days. And now without further ado, thank you to the following December patrons who made this unique and up-and-coming in two weeks 
Twitch and Chill Marathon happen with your pledges. Peace out, everyone. Have a good night. See you all this week for Dark Souls, for some Zelda mixed in, for the fan-voted funniest moments. It's going to be a great week. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. See you then, and thanks to the following patrons. Peace out.